गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वन मोर मैथड इन इमेज मॉर्फोलॉजिकल ऑपरेशन वन मोर टेक्निक इन इमेज मॉर्फोलॉजिकल ऑपरेशन एंड इट इज बाउंड्री एक्सट्रैक्शन सो इन बाउंड्री एक्सट्रैक्शन वी हैव टू लर्न टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू लर्न द इंटरनल बाउंड्री एक्सट्रैक्शन and another thing that we have to learn it is external boundary extraction the mathematical expression of internal boundary extraction it is given as beta i is equals to i minus i erosion with s and the mathematical expression of external external boundary extraction it is beta i is equals to i dilation with s minus i so both of this method internal boundary extraction and external boundary extraction we will discuss in this lecture so let us discuss first the internal boundary extraction the mathematical expression of internal boundary ex uh, extraction it is given as beta i it is equals to i minus i erosion with s so look at this mathematical expression in this mathematical expression i erosion with s it is written inside the bracket so first we will compute this eroded output that is i erosion with s so in this example let us assume this is my input image i and this is my structuring element s and first we will compute the i erosion with s so look at the structuring element in structuring element considering the shaded pixel it is the logic 1 and unshaded pixel it is logic 0 so in this structuring element center pixel as well as its eight neighborhood pixels are shaded it means center pixel and eight neighborhood pixels are at logic 1 and we have to compute the erosion operation it means this pattern this scenario where the center pixel value is logic 1 as well as its eight neighborhood pixels are also logic one this scenario this pattern we have to identify in the given input image i so if you perform the erosion operation you will find you will find this pixel this pixel this pixel this 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 all right and this one this one this one this one as well as these two so if you perform the erosion operation you will find these many pixels which satisfy the erosion condition or which satisfy the condition that its center pixel value is logic 1 as well as its eight neighborhood pixels are also logic 1 so let me first draw the eroded output i erosion with s this one okay let me mark these pixels so as discussed earlier since these pixels it satisfy the erosion condition it satisfy the condition that its center pixel value is 
as well as its 8 neighborhood pixels are logic one so only these pixels will be considered as the part of the eroded output now look at the mathematical expression in the mathematical expression you can see this eroded output we have to subtract from the original image i so this eroded output if you subtract from this original image i my result would be the remaining pixels So if you subtract this eroded output from this original image I, so this red color tick mark pixel will be my output. So if you, if you mark this red color pixels, If you mark this red color pixels, so this is nothing but the internal boundary of the given input image I. So on subtracting the eroded output from the input image I, you will get this result and this is nothing but, you will get this result and this result is nothing but the internal boundary of the given input image I. Okay. Next, we will discuss about the external boundary extraction. So assuming this is my input image I and this is my structuring element S. And we have uh, discussed about the mathematical expression of the external boundary extraction. So beta I, it is equal to I dilation with S minus I. So look at the structuring element. In structuring element, again assuming the same concept, if it is the shaded one, we will consider it as a logic one. If it is unshaded, it is considered as the logic zero. And in this structuring element, the center pixel value and the four neighborhood pixels are shaded. It means the center pixel value and its four neighborhood pixel are at logic level one. So in order to perform this uh, external boundary extraction, if you look at the mathematical expression, you will find the dilation operation. It is written inside the bracket. So first we will perform the dilation operation. That, that means we have to perform I dilation with the structuring element S. And as discussed earlier in our previous lecture, in order to perform the dilation operation, the center of this structuring element we have to place on all the object pixels and we have to perform the logical OR operation. So for example, for example, if you place the center of the structuring element at this position, so for this position, you may, you may observe the among the four neighborhood pixels, this and this are at logic level zero. So after performing the logical operation with this structuring element, this pixel and this pixel, it becomes logic one due to the dilation operation. Similarly, if you place the center of the structuring element at this position, then this pixel will become the logic one. If you place the center of the structuring element at this position, then this and this will become 
logic 1 after performing the dilation operation similarly at this position it becomes the logic 1 at this position it becomes the logic 1 at this position this one if you place it here these two pixels becomes the logic 1 after performing the dilation operation similarly if you place the center of the structuring element at this point then this pixel become logic 1 after performing the dilation operation similarly at this point this pixel at this point this pixel if we place the center of the structuring element at this position then this and this will become logic 1 similarly if you repeat for the other pixels these are the pixels which becomes logic 1 after performing the logical operation or we can say these are the pixels which are earlier the part of the background uh, background pixels after performing the dilution operation it become the part of the object pixel so let me mark all this dilated point also Okay, so now this is the output of I dilation with S. Now look at the mathematical expression. In mathematical expression, I dilation with S, that is the dilated image minus I. So we have to subtract the original image I from the dilated image I dilation with S. So in this dilated image, in this dilated image, that is I dilation with S. So this original image I, we have to subtract from this dilated image I dilation with S. So if you perform the, uh, if so if you perform the subtraction operation, that is if you perform the subtraction of the original image I from this dilated image I dilation with S, you will get this as a result of subtraction all these dilated point which we obtained after performing the dilation operation it becomes the result of this subtraction operation so let me mark all this point in this output image So if you mark these pixels, so these pixels are nothing but these are the external boundary for this given input image I. So let me write the mathematical expression here above this image. It is I dilation with S minus I. So if this is my input image I, this is my structuring element S. After performing the dilation operation, I got this dilated image. And in the next step, this original image I, I have to subtract from this dilated image in order to extract the external boundary. And when you perform the subtraction operation, you will get this outer boundary, this external boundary as the result. Thank you.